This is Kaylee Plemons from Roan State Community College with Sebron Coleman and Sawyer Barris, members of the pet band at Roan State Community College. Sebron, why do you think we need a pet band at Roan State? Well, I just think it brings an extra extracurricular activity to the students coming out of high school that were in band or any other form of musical activity. And I mean, it gives them a chance to be a part of something because I mean, they do have a lot to offer to musical students, you know, they got the whole musical department, but to be a part of this you don't have to, you know, like be going to school for music. So this provides an, a segue for students to go into music without doing it for school. So it's completely an extracurricular activity? Yeah, we meet on Fridays and I guess we've been practicing for like two months straight, like on Fridays. That's a new thing that's come up, but I mean, just the overall process, I mean, coming out of school and you just kind of, you don't go to a university on a music scholarship, so you're kind of like, okay, well, what do I do? I mean, you could go to the music department, but this is just another route for students to be able to do that, to not be a part of the music department. I'm sure a lot of practice goes in as well. Yeah. Now, when should we see the Pet Band Sawyer? Well, we normally play at just uh, home games, like the Run State basketball games, but we might be going to some other uh, events like the Kindred Spirits event or something like that. Okay. Yeah. And you both are enjoying being in the Run State Pet Band? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah. Sawyer, um, tell us a little about the instrument that you play. I hear you play the trumpet. Yeah, I play the trumpet. Uh, I mean, it, it's not as... I don't, I don't think any instrument is, is more important than another instrument, but the drums definitely do keep the, the other instruments together, well, I think. You have the melody. Yeah. You know, I mean, I could beat on something all day, but... Yeah, but trumpets yeah. usually have the melody, and uh, with drums, you have to, you hit, uh, you like, hit objects with sticks to make it sound, make sounds, and uh, trumpets take air to go through the horn and put a, a sound out the bell, so that's, they're just different. And you've been playing this instrument for a while now? Yeah, since sixth grade. Since sixth grade. And a question to ask both of you all, what was the transition like from going to playing in high school, middle school, to transitioning into college and not being in a full band, just a pet band? Well, going from Roan County High School, which their band broke 200, I think, this year or last year, uh, moving to a band of, like, nine or ten is definitely a big change, but I, I like it. It's different. It's good. It, I guess it gives you more practice mm -hmm. as well. Exactly. Well, what would your advice be for anyone that wants to go into the pet band and play at Run State, Sawyer? Well, all I have to do is come to Run State and talk to our uh, band director, Joel Greenley, and uh, it doesn't matter uh, where you come from, if, as long as you play an instrument that we can use in the pet band, then you can join. Well, that's great. I encourage everyone to join the pet band because it sounds like these guys have a lot going on, but they're having a lot of fun while doing it. So thank you, Sawyer, and thank you, Sebron, for thank joining you. me today. Yep. And thank you guys for watching.